this Easter. He's taken his time out to talk to us. Lee, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Right, Lisa, what do you think? Is it immoral? To house them on barge. Of course it's not immoral, Nana. You, you're absolutely right about the barge in question. The people criticising it simply haven't done their research. You know, as you rightly pointed out, the Bibby Stockholm is described as luxury accommodation with quality dining, TV, TV Wi-Fi, ensuite bathroom facilities, and has leisure and relaxation areas on board. According to their website, which I've got up in front of me now, the Bibby Stockholm was recently chartered for a 10-month contract by a company to provide accommodation for workers developing the new Shetland gas plant. They gave it glowing reviews. The workers liked it so much they extended the contract for another eight months. So the contract, uh, sorry, so the quality of the accommodation is, is not a problem. The real mm. question is, is it morally right for the public to pay six million pounds a day mm. to house illegal migrants in hotels? And the obvious answer is absolutely not. Putting migrants in hotels is a huge pull factor. And people have died, literally died, trying to illegally cross the channel. Is that morally right? Of course it's not. You know, the current situation and the numbers of people entering this country illegally is simply not sustainable. At the moment, the message is, come to Britain. And this is genuine. This is straight from the government website, mm. which is actually uh, available for everyone to look at. So you can read this yourself. And it, uh, the message is, come to Britain, you're going to get a weekly allowance, put up in a hotel, get free health care, free prescriptions, free dental care, free mm. eye tests, a school place for your children, and you are very, very unlikely to be removed. All these benefits, by the way, are exactly the same whether you're accepted uh, for asylum or you're refused for mm. asylum. They're, they're almost identical, slightly less allowance, but it's pretty much the same. You know, the only way to tackle... Uh, illegal immigration is to deter people from wanting to come. You know, if they're refused entry, uh, uh, entry to the UK uh, and eventually sent to Rwanda, they're less likely to pay mm. criminals thousands of pounds to illegally enter the UK. If the no. deterrent works, it means we can protect life, save money on hotel bills and eventually, you know, regain control well, over a really clogged up immigration system. Yeah, something that, needs to be done. Something needs to be done. I think we're going to do something on the Home Office soon because I'm not happy with the fact yeah. that they're taking so long to do so little. Thank you so much, Lee. Lovely to talk to you. That's Lee Harris.